Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is 5 power x plus 25 power x is equal to 125 power x. To find the value of x from this equation. Now, from our problem, which is 5 power x plus 25 power x is equal to 125 power x. In the first step, we'll divide by this in both sides. So we'll divide by 125 power x in, in this side and also in this side, divide by 125 power x and here, divide by 125 power x. Then in the next step, from here, power x is common. So it will be 5 over 125. So 5 over 125, then bracket common power of x plus in here same power of x is common so it will be this over this so 25 over 125 then bracket same power of x is equal to into here to simplify 125 power x divided by 125 power x it is 1 then in the next step to simplify we'll simplify here 5 divided by 5 it is 1 125 divided by 5 it is 25 so it will be 1 over 25 then bracket same power of x then plus 25 divided by 25 it is 1 125 divided by 25 it is 5 so it will be 1 over 5 then bracket same power of x is equal to this one then in the next step from here 1 over 25 this is same as 1 over 5 then bracket square because 1 square it is 1 5 square it is 25 then bracket this power of x then plus this 1 over 5 bracket power of x is equal to 1 then in the next step we will exchange this power of x will take inside the bracket power of 2 will take outside the bracket so as to be like this so here it will be 1 over 5 then bracket this power of x will take inside then bracket power of 2 take outside then plus this 1 over 5 bracket power of x is equal to this 1. Then in the next step, now here, 1 over 5 bracket power of x, 1 over 5 bracket power of x is common. So we'll let u is equal to 1 over 5 bracket power of x. So into here we'll substitute u, so it will be u square. So here, I question will be u square then plus u is equal to this one then we'll take one into the left side so it will be u square plus u we'll take one to this side to be minus one is equal to zero now from this quadratic equation <coughs> we'll solve it by using quadratic formula so from quadratic formula to find the values of u is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So it will be u is equal to negative b is coefficient of u which is 1. Then plus or minus square root of b square. It will be 1 square. Then minus 4 times a. a is coefficient of u square which is 1 then times c which is constant is this negative one so here to be bracket negative one then over two times a a is coefficient of u square which is one then in the next step it will be it will be u is equal to negative one plus or minus square root of one square it is one negative 4 times 1 times negative 1, it is positive 4. Then over 
this time this is 2. So it will be u is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4, 4 it is 5, then over 2. Then from here we have two solutions for the values of u. So the first value of u is equal to, when here it is positive, to be negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. So negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And the second value of u is equal to, when here it is negative, to be negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. So here negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Then we recall, before we let u is equal to, from here, we let, before we let here u is equal to 1 over 5 bracket power of x. So, from u, which is 1 over 5 bracket power of x, then we compare these two equations. So, it will be this is equal to this. So, 1 over 5 bracket power of x is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And from here, u u is equal to this so here also u is equal to 1 over 5 bracket power of x then you compare these two equations so it will be this is equal to this so 1 over 5 bracket power of x is equal to this negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 then from here Let's solve this equation, second, second solution. Now, from here, 1 over 5 power of any number, x is, can be any number for any number, a positive number, power of any number, it is positive. And this negative, then negative square root of 5, it is still negative. Negative divided by 2 is negative, so here also this is negative. So po positive cannot be equal to negative so this solution is not possible so this solution is reje rejected so we will continue to solve from this first solution now this is positive value and this is positive so from here to, to get x will apply log in both sides so it will be log of 1 over 5 bracket of x is equal to log of here, w negative 1 plus square root of 5 is same as square root of 5 minus 1. Then over this 2. Then bracket. Then from here, this power of x will move to the base. So it will be x log of 1 over 5 bracket is equal to log of this, which is square root of 5 minus 1 over 2. Then bracket. Then to get x, we'll divide by this log of 1 over 5 in both sides. Divide by log of 1 over 5. So this and this will cancel. So it will be x is equal to log of this, which is square root of 5 minus 1 over 2. Then bracket over log of this is same as this base of 1 over 5. So this is the final answer for the value of x in this our problem in terms of logarithm. Now to get the exact number for the value of x, we'll use calculator. Now from our calculator into here, this square root of 5 minus 1 so here it will be square root of 5 square root of 5 minus 1 is this then divide by 2 divide by 2 so here it will be log log of this 0 0.60618 so here it will be log of this so here it will be x is equal to log of 0 0.618 then over 
log of 1 over 5. 1 over 5, it is 0 0.2. 1 divided by 5, 0 0.2. So it will be log of 0 0.2. So here, log of 0 0.2. So it will be x is equal to log log of this divided by log of 0 0.618 divided by log of 0 0.2 so log of 0 0.618 divided by log of 0 0.2 it is 0 0.299 so the exact value it is 0 0.299 Now, let's check if this answer is correct from our problem, which was 5 per x plus 25 per x is equal to 125 per x. Now, to check, we substitute this into positions of powers of x, we substitute this value here. So, it will be 5 power of x, 0 0.299 plus 25 power of x is 0 0.299 is it equal to this 1 2 5 power of x is 0 0.299 so into here it will be 5 so 5 5 power of 0 0.299 so here 5 power of 0 0.299 it is 1.618 so here 1.618 then plus 25 power of 0 0.299 so 25 power of 0 0.299 it is 2.618 so here 2.618 is it equal to 125 power of 0 0.299 so 125 power of 0 0.299 it is 4.236 so here 4.236 now the sum the sum of this plus this it will be 1.618 plus 2.618 it is 4.236 which is equal to 4.236 now left side and right side are equal then it is true for the value of x is 0 0.299 Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.